So really data peer review is essential and it, it's on a par, if you like, with the peer review that you get for publications because that's the way publications are evaluated, how scientific work is, is evaluated. So we need it for data. The problem is that there is no community agreed peer review procedure. Um, nothing in fact that approaches uh, paper publication and although it's not available yet there's a huge amount of discussion about it but there are difficulties there are, are problems and these have to be worked through some of the data journals um, those that publish papers on management of data and articles on original data sets are now offering a form of peer review which does include the data now one of them is the Earth System Science data and they have a process whereby they take in the data set and they make it available through a companion title called Earth System Science Data Discussions and what they do is they actually put it up for public review. They put it up for your community, your, your, um, your peers if you like, to look at this and uh, give their uh, review on that actual um, data set or that data article and if it actually is satisfactory and it goes through that public review phase then they will put it into the main journal. So uh, post-publication peer review which is what we've just described there is, um, is more about concern with the quality rather than the impact of it and uh, what it does reveal in that sense is some evidence of reuse. There are suggestions that uh, data archives, data centers, and a lot of you actually are in data centers. Is that just shake your head? Did I pick up that a lot of you are working in data centers? Um, they are now thinking about inviting people who download data sets to provide, if you like, a review of the data that they've used and reused and, and leave feedback, public feedback on the data sets um, landing page. So that there's an interaction if you like with, with the community, albeit perhaps remotely. There's always the question about whether it would be anonymous review, anonymized review, and there are questions even like that that would have to be decided. I talked about data journals and there are a lot and a lot of them are from big publishers like the American Geophysical Union, from Wiley, from Nature and more and more are coming down the bottom here I literally got an email this week talking about a new uh, data journal for the humanities coming out literally this month and it's by Brill and Brill is another a big publisher in fact now what is surprising about publishers, and I was surprised when I read this paper, was that as, as late as 2013, and we're only 2015 now, there was a project called the Journal Research Data Policies Project, and they did a survey. And they noted in that survey that actually then, in 2013, publishers, not many of them certainly, had policies for, for data, for data in their journals. However now, and we're only two years later, and it just shows you how fast this is all moving, is that they do now acknowledge the importance of data sets about supporting and within the published article. So they are formulating policies. Some of them now have their own platforms where you can upload your data that um, is attached to published articles. Nature, for example, and PLOS have their own platforms or their own repositories, if you want to call them that. Some uh, publishers are in partnership with organizations like Figshare and Taylor and & Francis and the American P Computing Society are certainly doing that. Or the publishers uh, require that the author deposits um, their data in a publisher-specified repository. So here's some nice quotes from two big publishers just to show how uh, they've, they are supporting data publication and that's very encouraging that we see. You see that AGU encourages authors to identify and archive their data in approved data centers. Now what that means is a term called trusted repositories and I think you probably have heard that 
before, but I think this is quite a nice thing, although the quality of my screenshot isn't as good as it could be. 